I was looking at the forum last night and a post was put about Google Maps and been able to link out from your table straight into Google Maps. And uh, my good friend and colleague, uh, Ian at Knack Pros, uh, gave a solution here. I'll link to this thread in the description, but just wanted to walk you through uh, how this works because it's a really simple um, kind of workaround. So I have uh, just one entry on this table in my classic clips application and we have a, an address here for 10 Downing Street which obviously uh, rather currently is the place for the Prime Minister as they are as they are today uh, and then there's a link here which you can click on which will then open a new browser tab and open that in Google Maps. So I'm just going to close that browser tab down and we'll jump into the builder and we'll take a look at how this works. Now I only have one record in the client object and has the client name uh, standard NAC address field and then we have a text formula field and a link field. So uh, if I just change this to fields view for ease, uh, so this is my address field here um, set up as normal with enabling geocode and autocomplete. Obviously these are available only on the pro plan and above. Um, and then I have the text formula field called Google Maps address. And this is a text formula concatenating together um, the uh, HTTPS link, which Ian mentioned here. So how Google Maps work, and I didn't know this, is it looks for uh, this string. So google.com forward slash maps forward slash place. And then after that, you can simply put your address in. So you could put the street name and a plus and the town or city and then hit return in your browser and it will take you to Google Maps and take you to that place. So what we need to do with NAC is to actually split apart our address. So I'm just going to delete this. Um, if you haven't used this before, there's a functions uh, menu here. And if you scroll down to the bottom, uh, we'll be able to use what's called a get function. And you can get part of the address. So as you can see here, this one extracts the street. This one extracts street to this extracts city, zip, and then state and country. So if I was to say get the address, this would be the street first uh, first part of the address. And in between the brackets, I just add my address field in from my object. Oops, just go back a bit. There we go. So that would now just get the first line of the address. So if I was to update that field, I'm going to go back to my records. I'm just going to submit that record again to force the update. And you can see here it's pulled 10 down in street, which is actually the first part of this address. I'll just click away from that. You can see this is the, the first line here. So you can grab the street address part two, uh, city, uh, state, region, postcode or zip as obviously we have it here. So you can extract those from here and we can concatenate those together or string those together. So if I edit this, I'm just going to delete that. And that's the URL that you'd put in to uh, in, into Google Maps. So if you were looking for uh, 10 Downing Street, you could simply um, type 10 Downing Street, put a plus and then type London into your browser and that would work and that would take you to Google Maps. So what we want to do is build up this string. So I'm going to do the same and I'm just going to delete back to the plus and I'm going to use the get address field so get address street and then put my address in there and then put a plus and then do the same again and go for street two and in between the brackets put my address field and then do the same again and get the city and put the address in there add the state put the address in and add the zip or postcode depending on where you are. Uh, I'm going to say zip. And once again, click in between the brackets and put the address field in. So I'm just going to save that and then just submit the record again. And we end up with uh, HTTPS google.com maps place 10 down in street plus and we don't have a second line. So we have another plus. London plus England plus Southwest 1A to AB. So if I was to copy that, open the browser and just paste it into the URL, that will take me to 10 Downing Street in London. So we now have a concatenated text string, but this isn't clickable. 
uh, because this isn't a link field so what we have to do if I go back to fields is underneath this I've just added a link field so link fields become clickable but what we want to do is set this link field to the value of that text formula so just put a condition on this and I've said if the address field isn't blank set the field to uh, the Google's Maps address so if I just walk you through this so we have the address field here and then I've called this text formula Google Maps address so if the address isn't uh, it isn't empty so it's got something in it then set this link field to whatever is the Google Maps address so just to walk you through that again so if the address field is not blank set this field to the Google Maps text field that's concatenated that string otherwise if the address is blank set it to a custom value of null so it's empty so I'm just going to also look at the settings while I'm here so I've set this instead of it showing the URL uh, so if I show that as the URL you can see now that this link is now if I hover over this this gives me a clickable link uh, and I can click on that and that would open uh, in the browser and I'm just going to close that down uh, but obviously it has this rather horrible URL so I can obviously change that as you can in any link field I can instead of use the URL as my format I can use uh, use the same text for all links now you could just use the word uh, map and save that and now you just get the word map and that's what would appear in your table but um, you have a little bit of flexibility with um, uh, using the windows emojis so if you use the windows key and the semicolon you'll get the standard windows emoji palette and if I just use pin I can stick a little map pin in there save that and now I get a little map pin in here so all I need to do is go to my pages view onto my clients page this is my address field and this field here I've added is the link field I've just set it to a custom width of 50 so it constrains the column as much as it can and centralized it just on a browser refresh this is my address and you can see I have a pin with a hyperlink blue line underneath it which I think works quite well and then you can simply click on that link and it'll open in a new browser tab and take you to Google Maps to the location obviously from here you can navigate you can put, drop on street view uh, etc so it's worth mentioning at this time unfortunately you can't just simply click on this link if I was to view this record if you have a pro plan or above you can obviously have your address showing as a map and that automatically then gives you this clickable link which would then enable you to view in Google Maps but as of the time of recording this video there isn't a way of being able to set this address to a clickable link so this is a very nice workaround it's pretty easy to do and means your users can open a map straight from this table view so I thought you uh, might find that useful. Uh, once again, thank you very much to Ian Crow for sharing that on the forum. Um, credit to him, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.